Hello and welcome back to my Myrtle Beach real estate video blog where I'm bringing you relevant topics about our local real estate market here along the Grand Strand. Thanks again for joining me. We're real excited about this segment. It's a little bit different. Uh, we're talking about outdoor space on this, uh, on this video. And outdoor space is really popular, of course, here in, Myrtle, in the Myrtle Beach area. Uh, our climate is very conducive to spending a lot of time outside. And we, I'm standing here in an outdoor space that needs some help. And what we've done is we have three top local designers that have come and seen this space. They've got a budget of 5,000 bucks and we said run with it and make this space awesome. And so for 5,000 bucks they each came up with their own design and we're going to show you those designs in a moment. So I hope this is fun, something different. Uh, these, all these designers are super, super talented and it's so neat that all three designs were so different and using the same space. So what we hope from this video is that you will see some value that you could either kind of spruce up your outdoor space, get some ideas that you could make some changes that you could enjoy for yourself or even long term thinking about uh, adding value to the home long term. So, here are our top three designers. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Layla Altman with Posh Living, and this is my cottage backyard. The uh, overall color scheme is bright colors. Um, we wanted to introduce blues and greens and um, make it light and fresh and also work with some of the, the plants and um, foliage that we were introducing. We started with a fun ECOT fabric that has like a dark navy and cream which coordinates with the cushion covers that we're doing that's going to have a contrasting cream welt. Uh, all these fabrics are 100% acrylic outdoor fabrics which means they resist staining, mold, mildew and they're very um, they are better against the sun rays, so they have like a UV um, resistance as well, so they won't fade as fast as a regular fabric, and they're very easy to clean. You can use um, bleach, and actually diluted bleach and water to clean the cushions as well, so that's really helpful when you do get a stain on them. So we've got Adirondack. This is uh, an Adirondack style chair or swing. Um, dining chairs and tables and side tables and these are all a, a stained um, finish that will hold up to the weather, the sun, it's a lot more durable than a typical painted Adirondack chair and they also use uh, stainless steel component pieces so you won't have any rusting or any wear out of the parts that hold it together. They also have um, a lifetime warranty because it's built out of cypress which is really great to resist moisture and um, it's a fantastic, very durable wood for outdoor use. So we've got an area here set up for the adults to be able to spend time grilling, eating out. This table here in the middle is actually a dining height table and all four of these chairs are dining height chairs so you can pull the table out and actually have a place to also eat as well as just lounge on the swing. Um, on the glider at around that chair in the same area. I also provided some privacy along here by building planters that go up to eight feet tall with a growing pyracanthus plant that gives you more shading along here and also some outdoor fabric draperies that they can close and open to provide additional privacy um, even to just quiet the noise. This house is right across from tennis court so we thought it would be nice to be able to give them an option of having more privacy if they needed it when they're entertaining. We also sectioned off an area for all the kid toys that's adjacent to the adult area so they can still keep an eye out on the kids while they're playing and this is just um, you know a nice bendable rubber edging material and then mulch in the center. We took out the existing um, bushes that were here by the tree and did an additional new boxwoods over here and then as well over here we had to move a bush out and do two new boxwoods on this end. We also added a, an outdoor rug which is made from polypropylene which again resists staining. You can literally hose it off, clean it with bleach, 
you can even get wine stains out. So it's a great material to have outdoors, even indoors, for entertaining. We use the blue and green again to complement the color scheme. On the draperies, we use kind of a soft khaki color with a nice solid border of the blue fabric that we were using on the cushions. And then here we've got a picture of the hydrangeas that we were going to recommend at the base of the planters down here. And then the climbing pyracanthus would be on the lattice work that would also go on top of the planters, which this is a picture of that climbing vine. And then we thought to keep the nice cottage theme, we would introduce a new lantern to the outside area as well. So we are hoping that we created a nice, comfortable, private outdoor space that's fresh with new colors to also um, be inspiring for the cottage look and to keep it just fun for the outdoors, for entertaining. Hi, I'm Chiara Rizzo Hansen with uh, Chiara Rizzo Hansen Interior Designs in Myrtle Beach. And we are at Rose Harbor Fabric. Yeah, the, on the aerial view, we'll see where I added a table uh, and uh, a little tea cart um, right off the, the back door of the kitchen, so it's kind of comfortable. Uh, in a sitting area right here, we would add some pavers um, on the entrance and some pavers on the side with the grill and possibly a screen to kind of uh, give privacy from the neighbor. As you can see some pavers, I would add a couple of plants, a bench, and a nice play area uh, over there. And you can see a detail of the, the type of screen I was thinking of and uh, the pavers. Um, the chairs will be covered in this stripe because on the inside of the house we have yellows and blues and greens and uh, um, a nice outdoor rug with uh, sitting furniture, that's a nice chenille. And all of it is outdoor fabric. I mean, you will not believe what they do with the, the fabrics outdoor. We have a, a great umbrella and uh, um, some colorful pots. And that will make it for a very colorful, but yet uh, coastal. Um, the inspiration for the colors are the colors that are inside the, the owner homes, which are yellow, green, uh, teal, blues, and uh, so I wanted to continue the um, inside into the spilling into the outside, also because she has so many windows in the sun here, and you'll be able to see. Um, I kept green and blues because those are coastal color. Um, we are at the beach, but it's not necessarily a beachy look, uh, although it's a happy look, and it uh, the green of the grass will melt in with the green and the blues of the furniture. The homeowners have an active family, two small children, and designated an area in the backyard for their play area. Uh, here we have several large trees with large roots, and the need was to either remove trees, which we like the shade, or to come up with a surface to um, be children friendly. So we are proposing rubber mulch, which is lifetime, and it does not fly away. It protects the children from um, getting tripping on roots and falling out of the swing into a hard surface. So we have designed an area where they would have their play area. We would like to make it colorful and house four small Adirondack chairs with accent pillows and to entertain their friends and remove all of their play uh, gear over to that area. We also would like to hang lanterns on the tree limbs as well as keep the existing uh, swings. We also are proposing a, a project that these children who are very young can work on with their parents, kids gardening, and we are proposing introducing a planter so that they can be um, involved with nature and, and getting active in landscaping at this early age. Fun, colorful, and yet um, very protected and within eyesight. Okay. Nice. These are uh, trellises that are just colorful that will be planted or positioned against the fence just to add color. Um, they are, what you're seeing is they are clear. They are colorful uh, trellises that are there for decorative purposes only and um, at some point certainly things could be, uh, vines could be planted so that they could climb the trellises but mainly there for color. My first impression was overcrowded and it needed to be extended. The solution to that 
was to add a, an approximate 10 by 10 um, extension to the patio, which is adjacent to the existing, which would provide a space for a grill, which the homeowners had specified they would be wanting a new one, or a future summer kitchen in this area. It would also provide more seating, additional seating, and the, the patio itself was um, the site of all the children's toys as well as seating. So the goal of the existing patio is to just provide seating and shade. So we're proposing a table and six chairs, swivel, so that they can turn around and watch children. And two of the chairs would stay permanently over into this on the new extension. Uh, this umbrella, instead of an arbor, is movable. So it can provide shade or shelter to the existing um, additional patio as well as the um, as the existing patio. The inspiration for the fabrics was one, the color of the outside of the brick, which is the rust tones. And while the inside of the home was primary and pastel, the outside needs to be coordinated with the outside elements. Um, green is very complementary to the outside landscape. And um, so this was the uh, inspiration fabric. It's powerful, it's colorful, it is to be um, a pa two panels framing the windows um, on the wall so as to protect it from uh, rain and wind but yet add color. Uh, the seat covers for the chairs would remain solid and can be switched out when needed in the years to come. Uh, also gave the homeowners an option of a round table versus a rectangular. Uh, we have drawn in a rectangular uh, surrounded by pots with colorful flowers and then accent pillows in the coordinating fabrics as you can see on the board. The umbrella would stay neutral so again versatility for the future. Um, we have also extended um, at the yard to another area that was forgotten and we have we are proposing a stepping stone path to an area that could be used for a swing which to um, rock with the children or a hammock if that homeowner pre prefers that um, for relaxation. We are also enclosing the area with torches um, and suggest in the wintertime perhaps a fireplace which would replace the bench in this location. Um, the other future addition would be for a fountain which would provide water and soothing um, noise for an outdoor, perfect outdoor retreat. Okay, you've seen the three designs. You've got a winner in mind that you like the most. I need you to vote for that person and that design. Go to my Facebook page, there's a link below, and just go ahead and vote. Now there's something in it for you. We're gonna at random pick a winner. It's gonna get a free outdoor rug from Rug Decor. So go to Facebook, my Facebook page, vote. We'll pick a winner. We're excited to give away this rug. And I really and truly hope that you found some value in this, that you can do something in your own outdoor space. Uh, and if I can help or be of service, or if you want to get in touch with these great designers, give me a call or shoot me an email. And I'm looking forward to talking to you next time. Bye-bye.